he'd lost. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your faces to another video on the channel. Sadly, this is not exactly great news. Johnny Depp has lost his liable claim against NGN newspapers. This just sucks, because a lot of things that's going to happen now is, obviously, the sun is going to run with it, and they're going to be like, yes, we won, we won, you know, justice this, justice that. But again, no, it's kind of sad to see what's happened. So what we're going to do, we're going to spin this around, and we're going to jump into Nick Wallace's tweets. I was in Stevie J's uh, live stream, we were all talking when this came out, and obviously Nick Wallace, huge shout out, if you're not following him on Twitter, go and follow him, it's amazing. And this is what's come out. Breaking, Johnny Depp has lost his liable claim against NGN newspapers. Par 588, the claimant has not succeeded in his action for liable, although he has proved the necessary elements of his cause of action in liable, the defendants have shown that what they published in the meaning which I have held the words to bear was substantially true. The judge is basically saying that Johnny Depp is exactly what The Sun wrote. How? Which is absolutely ridiculous. I have reached these conclusions having examined in detail the 14 incidents on which the defendants rely as well as the overreaching considerations which the claimant submitted I should take into account. In those circumstances, Parliament has said that a defendant has a complete defence. It has not been necessary to consider the fairness of the article, because those are immaterial to the statutory defence of truth. No, it's not. The parties will have an opportunity to make submissions in writing as to the precise terms of the order which should follow my decision. Par 577, a recurring theme in Mr Depp's evidence was that Miss Heard had constructed a hoax and that she had done this as an insurance policy, presumably in the event that the marriage broke down. Mr Sherburn commented in his closing submissions that Miss A.H. had said that she had recorded some of her conversations with J.D. to show him what he was capable of doing when the monster prevailed, and yet many of these were never played to or shown to Mr Johnny Depp. She was, according to this scenario, nothing more than a gold digger. I have in the course of this judgement given reason why I do not accept this characterization of her. Looking at the evidence as a whole, I come to the same conclusion. Par 575, I have found that the great majority of alleged of this by him have been proved to the civil standard, bearing in mind what has been said about the evidence necessary to satisfy that standard or what serious allegations are an issue. We got more. Incident 1, the tattoo incident. Seen in isolation, the evidence that Mr Depp done this on this occasion might not be sufficient. However, taken with the evidence as a whole, I find that it did occur. Oh my... Ugh. Incident 2, the painting incident. Overall, I conclude that Mr Depp did do this as she and the defendants have alleged. This is such bull... This man is so bad. It's... Everything that has gone on, man, it's just like, what the hell? Incident 3, Hicksville, June 2013. In the course of the argument, Mr. Depp caused significant damage to the trailer. Miss Saxton could see the damage was more than the broken light fixture, which Mr. Depp admitted damaging. I accept her evidence. Jesus, holy Mary of Joseph. This is just, it's just crazy, I'm telling you now all of this is, because... Like we've all said, since the beginning, you know, I'm not going to go through the rest of it, but I will leave a link to Nick's tweets below. All of this, man, it's it's just so bad. It just is. And seeing that, well, the son have gotten away with it again. And a lot of people are thinking now that it doesn't, it wouldn't surprise me if it is true or not, that the uh, son may have uh, given a substantial amount of money to a charity in the judge's name. Again, I am assuming there. That I, I, I'm just assuming that is, is my opinion on this now, guys. That uh, he may have gone along and done some horrible things, you know. But how can they say that literally with all the evidence that Johnny's team put forward, the all the unedited footage as well, remember? Remember, we've got the video that TMZ released that was unedited. We've got all the things... You know, the photographs, all the witness statements, testimonies from people. And they're all like, um, yeah, we're not going to go for you. Even though the evidence is here, 
we're not going to go with you. And, you know, it is what it is, you know. We all know that it was going to be good or bad, and sadly it's gone bad. But what we need to do now, though, we all know that we still believe in him, and that Liz is literally just against the Sun, or NGN News Group. It's not against her. Their trial will come in May next year. That's going to be the big one between them two. Obviously, this was just a newspaper who they put something down. And to be honest with you, it is the Sun. Here in the UK, the Sun has got a very, very bad rep. Which again, when you see this sort of thing, you don't actually go, oh no, you know what, they're actually a good paper. They're not. The Sun is one of the worst papers going. It's nothing but a rag, that's exactly what it is here in the UK. You know, a lot of people don't, Liverpool don't even have the paper given to them because they they are against the Sun for what they did years ago. But this is it guys, you know, this is the verdict now. It's, it's sad that it was wrong, but uh, it's not the verdict we wanted. But the best thing to do is now, guys, stay uh, stay focused, stay happy. We all still support him. Make sure that we just get our thoughts out on Twitter, on other social media platforms as well, YouTube if you want to make a video on it. And one of the best things is do not start harassing anyone. Don't do that. I've seen that in the past on certain things and seeing some people do it, it's like, right, guys, you need to stop it now. You need to calm down. Because doing that just... It just adds fuel to the fire, and they kind of think, oh, that's what they're like, is it? Right, oh, good thing we didn't vote for them then, basically. That's what that sort of thing is. You know, I've seen in the past, so's Tug. You know, a lot of us who are covering this, we've uh, covered the uh, Vic Mignogna case. Exactly the same thing, you know, when uh, that was the verdict was given there. All we can see now and hope is that if Johnny and his team put an appeal in, if they do put an appeal in, that would be great. We'll have to see how that goes. But obviously... NGN News Group, The Sun, Dan Wooten, they've all gotten off scoffery. But it'll be interesting to see what the headlines are later on today on the websites and also what The Sun prints tomorrow. Because guarantee this is going to be front page news for The Sun 100% tomorrow. They're going to be like justice was served and all this kind of shit. Guarantee, that's exactly what it's going to be. But you know, this is what it is people, this is what has happened. And, you know, like I said, you know, there's a couple more Nick tweets. I'm looking at them now. Quite a few of them are coming out, you know, going from Boston to L.A., address other aspects of uh, everything that's happened. But, like I said, guys, I will leave his link below to you. Tonight, I will be streaming later on this evening, 7 p.m. UK time. So that will be 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, and I believe 5 a.m. Australian time. But, and tomorrow, I will be... Streaming with Shelby Soup, which is going to be amazing. 6 p.m. UK time, 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to have a good time on the stream. So if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see each and every one of you soon.